Hi guys, this is Lauren with Lauren Watkins Art, and today I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour with you. If you've been around my channel for the last couple years, you probably recognize this sketchbook. This is one I made out of pastel matte paper, and the cover is just chipboard that I mod podged some scrapbook paper to. If you want to see all details of how I made it, you can click this link here. But this sketchbook measures about nine and a half inches by six inches, so very much a landscape orientation. And this is the first page of the sketchbook, and it is actually not the first page I did in it. I did this page at the beginning of 2021 after a winter hike. Then the second page is this pansy. I was testing out my Townsend pastels. I had just gotten them and wanted to test them out and see how they worked. And those pastels are quite large and there's not very many like fine edges to it to do a lot of detail. So I had to make the pansy quite large and just do more of a implied painting. I couldn't get as much detail. Um, I believe this is my first painting I ever did. Um, this is a landscape. Um, I used a reference photo from my drive through Star Valley, Wyoming that I took. And I really like the yellow undertone of the base paper, especially peeking out in the skies. It really added a warmth to this picture. So I had a lot of fun with this one. This next picture is one I did of the bird refuge in the winter time. So there's a bird refuge near where I live and it's very like swampy, marshlandy. And so in the winter time you, you get like frozen ponds that are very, very flat. And then you get these like grasses growing up out of the top, which I, I really love. And then this kind of more impressionistic uh, flower scene. Uh, I noticed when I was looking through the sketchbook that it was either very realistic, lots of details, or much more impressionistic. And it was usually dependent on the types of pastels I was working on. If I used pastel pencils, then I had a lot more detail and it was a lot more refined. If I was using traditional soft pastels that were quite large and bulky, then I had to go a little bit more impressionistic and loose. The only real exception is this pansy. I was able to get quite a bit of detail with this pansy because I was using the Mangayo student grade pastels, which are very small and hard and rectangular. So it had a lot of fine points to do. And this is actually one of my favorite pictures in the whole sketchbook. I love the background. I love the detail, the warmth and vibrancy of the flower. So I, I really love that picture. Then there's this winter, winter scene I did just a couple weeks ago. This one I was playing with a lot of colors within the snow and kind of playing with how the color and the light bounce around. Then this water pitcher using the Mangayo Gallery pastels. Um, most of the pictures I noticed that I did in this were winter scenes. Um, and then I have some things like this where I have the Mangayo landscape. But I did a lot of winter scenes in this picture. And you can see my progress in being able to do them. This one, I messed up on, on it the first time. So I used uh, pastel grounds and painted over it. And then did this picture over the top. So I really like pastel grounds because you can kind of save your paper and rescue it when you've messed up and try over. This flower was done, I believe it's a crocus, it was done using Derwent pastel pencils um, on a white background and I was able to get a really cool glowing effect that I liked with it. Um, this picture is one that I did just recently. Um, I had seen some other artwork from some other artists and how they played with light. And I really wanted to try that out and experiment with how light and shadow work on snow. So contrasting warm colors and cool colors, those blues and pinks, and how that light affects the trees around it. Um, this picture, I was testing out the Caran d'Ache pastel pencils, and I was just using a, 
a reference photo from one of my walks this fall. And I found that I, I like to use a combo of both. I like the pastel pencils, but then I like to go in and use regular pastels over the top. That's where I found kind of my sweet spot. This flower picture was really fun. I wanted to go very, very loose, very painterly. Um, so I didn't like draw it like a normal picture. I was doing a lot more of a painting style where you block in your shapes and almost using the, the pastel like big bold brush strokes and refining with more layers over the top. Um, instead of like sketching out the shape perfectly and then filling it in, it was a much more painterly style. This flower, I, I was looking at a perfume. I was watching a perfume commercial and they had this big gardenia, I think it is, in it. And I just really love the colors of it. So I did this one and I was playing with my Sennelier pastels with it and was seeing how to layer and how they all work together. And then I had fun with the background, kind of playing with more of a loose layering technique. And then we've got our snowman. I did a tutorial and a demo on how to create different kinds of textures using your soft pastels. And then I demoed how to create the snowman um, by using a whole bunch of those techniques to create all the texture and whimsy of this. And so I really love our little snowman piece. This next picture is of a sunset and uh, where the mountains are, it was just the tops of houses and I didn't want to <laughs> paint the tops of houses. So I kind of blocked in like a rough mountain landscape, but I wanted all the focus to be on that sky and the insanely vibrant colors that we saw on it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the paper in between the glassine sheets is glassine paper and it's non-static and it really reduces the transfer and the smudging of the pastel pieces. And then I usually just tape the glassine to the sheet of paper that I drew on just so there's less rubbing and friction messing up the pastel pa uh, pages. Then we have this winter scene. This was inspired by one of my friend's cabins and a picture that they sent while they were up at the cabin with their family. Then the crystals were very different than what I normally draw, but it was really fun to play with light and shadow and color in this way where I had to make something semi-transparent and have light reflecting through it and create the texture. So it was a really fun challenge for me and then we're on the very last page of this sketchbook and it is these two winter or these two pine trees in the winter and I was really playing with light in the sense of like adding subtle yellows to the highlighted snow so it has more of a warmth to it and then using the blues to create a cooler shadow tone um, it was really fun to see my progress in painting winter scenes in particular in this sketchbook. So the very first page that you saw at the beginning was my first winter scene that I really drew with pastels. Um, I think I'd done maybe one other one years before. And then seeing like all these pictures kind of next to each other, I was going through the sketchbook, I could really see my progress in understanding snow and creating colors on white and how that light reflects on it. But I love this sketchbook and I'm gonna be making a new one very soon. I'm gonna do a uh, one with UART paper with the tan and the black paper that's a little bit bigger than this one and then I think I'm gonna do another pastel matte sketchbook. So stay tuned for that. I will be doing a new pastel sketchbook tutorial in the near future. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye.